guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Simeon. If this is your first time watching my video, thank you for coming and I hope you really enjoy my video. So last year I took a break in October. I think my last video was in like October, was on October 7th. And from that video, like I basically didn't post again. Then I made a, com a community post, I think sometimes in ending of October, beginning of November, that I was going to take a break until May 2022 but um, now we are in March 2022 and I think I'm tired of my break so this is my first video after my break and yeah thank you for watching this video and yeah let's go into the video I took a break because I was tired like I had a lot of things going my part-time job I definitely felt like my part-time job at the point was like the main <laughs> Felt like the main reason I was in Sweden, like I was doing so much hours at my part time job compared to my education or school in general, and it was so exhausting. I think I was working about 40 hours a week, which was crazy, which is a lot of hours actually. But I mean, I'm still alive, and that is past. Welcome to 2022. Like, I know this is March, but this is still a new year, so uh, and this is my first video this year, so still, welcome back to. The new year and I really hope this year is turning out to be what you planned it to be and if it's still not looking good or it's still on still panning out well like I really wish you the best in the year and I mean my year has not been so perfect so far but I think it has had these good moments also like amazingly good moments also and yeah thank god this year I actually will do more videos this can be like my season two of my channel you know people have like now there's like limited series for like season one, season two of, on Netflix and stuff like that. Like this can actually be like my own season two, featuring 2022 <laughs> or something like that. In November, I was swamped in work and like I definitely felt like I was juggling like so many things together. Like my school and my part-time job was definitely competing. Like no, not even competing. My school was competing for time, like struggling for time. And then I was basically just living, living, schooling, working, schooling, working, schooling, working, schooling, working. That, that was literally my schedule in November and some parts of December. I'm good that it's all over now. So I stopped my part-time job in January. I think first, second week in January. And so I'm, I did no longer work, which is nice. I mean, which is not good, nice because, of course, if you don't work, you don't get money. But if you don't work, then you also have more time to invest in other things. And I stopped in January, and January was my, should I call it, interview stroke application month. I think I I basically did interview like almost every, almost every working day in January. I had an interview or the other interview, like it was crazy, like definitely, like I would be on an interview call and after like 10 minutes I would... After the end of that call, in like 30 minutes, I have another call waiting for me. There's days I had like two interviews together. A lot. Um, so far, um, I'm still applying, but I took a break in February. So January was my application month, stroke job aunt month. But I took a break in February, so I stopped applying. And now, oh, I've been working on my portfolio, trying to update my case studies on my portfolio website to future jobs that I've done and also to also show that to also show recruiters that I know what I'm doing talking about and I'm not just a newly fresh grad which technically I am but I'm not because I had like two three years experience working before I came to Sweden. In December also I renewed my residence permit that went smoothly. I think it took like four months from application. Yeah it took like four months one or two weeks from application to um, receiving my card physically at home so which was short I mean it's not short four months is a lot but I mean which is short for like um, similar applications I've had, I've seen friends do or I know that people have done so that is good um, I already got the card so that went smoothly I, I didn't I was not asked to give any feedback on anything I just applied filled all the documents attached on my documents and I got a response, I think after like, I got a response after, I think, three and a half months that I should book a date to, what's it called? I should book a date to 
get my picture taken, my passport taken, and then also my thumbprint. And then they, the, the center in my city was closed, so I had to go to another city, Gothenburg, which is just like, I mean, two hours or one hour, 30 minutes by car, maybe. So I did that. And then, again, it's not as if you can, like, you get a message today and you can book a slot tomorrow. You have to wait. Like, usually, the, the slot are usually open maybe like one or two weeks ahead. So, and then there's also your schedule also that you have to manage. Well, yeah, I got that done already. And March, in February, yeah, I traveled. I traveled. I didn't do any vlog. Because I just wanted to enjoy. I, my tra that traveling was definitely for me. Actually, it was to just have a new environment that was not Swedish. I mean, that was not Sweden because I mean, in February the weather was dark. Everywhere was cloudy. I remember when I came came back to Sweden after. So I spent like one week. I remember when I came back to Sweden and then in the evening I think it was like around like past five and then it was all cloudy. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. I'm back in Sweden, like, I mean, 5 o'clock for the weather getting dark is not too bad compared to like other times where it gets dark around like 3 or 4, but around like 5, 6, it was really dark and I was like, ah, oh, damn. Then I got to the airport and then I went outside the airport to wait for my bus and or more, like this is Nigerian in me, or more, it was cold. I mean, not more, more than what I can handle, but I didn't expect it to be that cold. I went back into the airport and put on my beanie. <laughs> because I'm not all about that cold lifestyle. But yeah, uh, and that was February. Traveled a bit. Started my thesis. I started my thesis in January. And this is the last semester, my last semester, which is so good because school will be over. I'm tired of school. But this is good. I mean, I'm happy that I'm getting my degree, but I'm tired of school. Um, yeah, so my thesis started in, say in January. I should complete my thesis in June. Um, I think by the end of the month, I should. I will be submitting um, my chapter one to three with my partner. So I have a partner. Thank God I actually didn't do it alone also because I wanted to. Con I was. I really considered doing it alone, but I did it. Good thing. Good for me. Currently, I'm just. Um, I'm learning Swedish. Again, uh, I mean, there was one of my video where I said I was learning Swedish back then, but then I stopped because of work and school. But now I am learning Swedish full time. I am definitely exhausted, but I like it. I mean, I don't like that I'm exhausted. I like that I'm learning Swedish, but I'm exhausted. If you get, but yeah, that is like four hours every day. Yeah, so feed a tima, very dog, Monda, Monda. The Frida, um, your body, body at a day, body at day, your your body at day. I know this intonation is so wrong, but your body at day um, means Swenska class um, for Frida, Frida with her son. Um, yeah, I started my Swedish classes four weeks ago, so that's going good. Four weeks of Swedish every day for twenty, I think twenty five hours a week. That's a lot. And again, the center is like, I, the center is like, how many minutes away from my house? I think it's like for five minutes, fifteen minutes away from my house. Two buses, so it's like six hours gone every single day, like including transportation back and forth. And I started playing badminton, which I didn't used to play, and that's good. I like it. Yeah, I think I told one of my friend that I stopped working. I was like, so what are you doing now? How are you surviving? I'm like. I mean, I don't have like money to buy a Tesla. <laughs> I mean, I didn't still have the money when I was working, of course. But I mean, I'm okay. I'm doing good. If you want to contact me, you can you can always reach out to me via my social media links here. Yeah, I'll just put them down, and then yeah, my social media links are the same across all social media platforms, except if I don't exist there, or I'm sure if I exist, I don't use it. But yeah, I put I use my Twitter and my Instagram more. So I'll just put that link below here so you can see them. And yeah, if you need to message me, please do. If you're going to ask me questions, please make sure that you've already seen most of my videos so that I don't have to start repeating myself because, of course, I, like, I get a lot of DMs and it can be tiring to keep repeating yourself multiple times, answering the same questions you've answered in your videos. I remember someone um, reaching out to me and was like, you was up to me, I really like your YouTube channel. I'm just paraphrasing that. It's like, yeah, I've watched all your videos, but I just have one question, and then it pops up the question. And it's the question I've answered in one of the videos, and I was like, Oh, really? 
I, I thought you said you watched all my videos. Right now, I'm just doing my Swedish classes, being alive, resting. I don't think I'm resting enough, but I'm resting more. I think I stopped my work, but I still have a lot of work. I don't know if, if you get, but that is it. And my Swedish classes are going good. Um, yeah, I mean, Svenska är bättre um, varje dag. Yeah, I mean, right now I think I'm just reading texts, learning more, more nouns and the very, learning more nouns or verbs, learning more verbs actually, and then um, also knowing the various forms of the verbs. So something like um, venta, ventat, and vent, is it, no, ventit, yeah. So we're yeah, just learning that all together. So it's like boria, boria, boria. Boria, Boria, and Boria Day, and stuff like that. So we are doing that, and then combining that with like when you use poor, poor school and or e school and so this class is going well. And yeah, I think this is actually the end of my video. I just wanted to give you a quick update before I start actually reposting videos on my YouTube channel. So you know what I've been up to, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, you could always reach me on my social media links below. And with your questions, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please, yes, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think my YouTube channel needs to go, and I think I would actually like to get to 1k followers or 1k subscribers before Easter. I think Easter is a bit far. I think I just have about less than 200 people to reach 1000, so I think that's a small number, but yeah. Don't forget to share my videos and yeah just let me know in the comment section if you need me to make any video in any particular about any particular thing and i will get to it but yeah expect more videos for me this yeah and thank you and have a lovely day bye